you've known how rich the Rothschild family is. In fact, the Rothschild family has been the subject of several conspiracy theories ranging from accusations that it controls the weather to assertions that it is a puppet master of global financial institutions due to its past riches and prominence. They might spend that time acquiring pricey purchases that would enhance their wealth over time as a far better way to spend it. We'll take a look at the Rothschild family's most lucrative ventures over the years today. Number 10. Planet 9 Yacht Nat Rothschild, a member of the newer generation of Rothschilds, purchased this property. With a price tag of $102 million, the Planet 9 Super Yacht is one of the rare purchases of this family that flashes out their great wealth. The Planet 9 is one of the world's most costly yachts. It can seat up to 16 guests in a lavish setting, with a 26-member team treating them like royalty, or better still, Rothschilds. Although the vessel is supposed to be an explorer ship, it nevertheless has some opulent decorations and ultra-deluxe amenities on board, and all guests can arrive and leave whenever they choose thanks to its helicopter deck. The Planet 9 ship's most astounding feature, however, is that it is more expensive than most of Rothschild's homes, houses, manors, and castles. Number 9. Gunnersbury Park Gunnersbury, on the other hand, is not one of them, even if it is only a few million dollars more expensive than a huge boat. Gunnersbury was the Rothschild's first estate in the United Kingdom. Nathan Meyer Rothschild designed it in 1835. He paid £17,000 for the land. With inflation, that will be around £2.2 million or $3 million. The home's value skyrocketed once it was erected and lavishly adorned, and the surrounding fields were manicured into a lovely park. Just a century later, the mansion was sold to Ealing and Acton councils for $132 million in today's money. Nonetheless, all analysts agree that this was more of a charitable act on Rothschild's side because the estate is far more valuable. The fact that Ealing and Acton councils are contemplating a £50 million or $66 million refurbishment of the home is proof of it. Number 8. Chateau Mouton Rothschild with a real estate portfolio worth more than $25 billion, it's no surprise that several of their high-priced homes will make the cut. Chateau Mouton Rothschild is undoubtedly worth noting here. With an estimated value of $150 million to $200 million for the site alone, the acclaimed Chateau Mouton Rothschild wine is increasing the value of this Bordeaux vineyard even more exponentially, with prices as high as $700 per bottle. The Cabernet Sauvignon vineyard spans 222 acres, and the grapes are fermented in ultra-rare and ultra-expensive oak vats at the chateau. The finished wine was given particular treatment because it was left to age in oak barrels. The labels are true works of art according to Baron Philippe de Rothschild, as they were commissioned from famous artists such as Francis Bacon and Pablo Picasso to mention a few. Knowing this, the $700 price tag is starting to sound like a bargain. Number 7. Waddesdon Manor Waddesdon Manor is without a doubt the Rothschild family's crown gem. This beautiful work of architectural genius was erected for Baron Ferdinand de Rothschild and his family for a costly sum of around 1.5 million British pounds, which would be roughly 210 million pounds now if adjusted for inflation. The manor is now a museum with nearly 460,000 annual visits, excluding the last two years when everyone was trapped in their homes. I suppose being isolated in a house like Waddesdon Manor wouldn't be the end of the world. The estate is lavishly decorated with numerous works of art adorning every wall. This exquisite palace still houses Baron Ferdinand's precious collection of portraits by prominent British artists, as well as priceless carpets, tapestries, furniture, pottery books, and other artifacts. Outside, however, is equally as astounding as the knowledge. In actuality, the cost of creating this magnificent garden was 68 million British pounds in today's money. The residence was occupied by three generations of the Rothschild family until they chose to open it to the public. Isn't it a bold move to leave a $356 million estate for the public to admire? Number 6. Agora Oil and Gas 
Rothschild's real estate investments totaled $25 billion that extended from the US to the Middle East. Although these are only a partial part of their total wealth, what makes the world's wealthiest family a genuine powerhouse? Are they investing? The family owns hundreds of enterprises around the world, but Agora Oil & Gas, which was purchased for $370 million, was one of their most substantial investments in recent years. The company is currently valued at more than $1.4 billion. That's correct, Lord Rothschild made a cool billion from this business venture in just under a decade. The company's business is oil and gas, as the name implies, with Lord Rothschild exploring for pockets of black gold in the North Sea area and energy prices hitting the moon at the present, it wouldn't be surprising if he made another billion by the end of the year. Number 5. Rothschild Art Collection The Rothschild have a vast art collection and are among the most generous donors to museums and galleries around the world. A rough estimate of their magnificent collection suggests it is worth around $2 billion, ranging from breathtaking paintings by some of the world's most renowned artists to lavish furniture once used by kings. The Rothschilds know how to flaunt their enormous wealth while maintaining perfect taste and class. Even Hitler, an aspiring artist before assuming his more well-known character as a power-hungry sociopath, was intrigued by the Rothschild art collection. When his army conquered France, Hitler flew in to collect some of the beautiful paintings for himself. The Nazis looted roughly 3,500 items of art. Some of them were returned after the war, but many more have yet to be recovered. Number 4. RIT Capital Partners The Rothschilds have investments in a variety of businesses, although banking is their core focus. One of the many conspiracy theories is that they own 30% of all major banks throughout the world. We won't know for a while whether this is real or not, only to confirm our suspicions. The Rothschild Investment Trust was formed by Jacob Rothschild to manage the family's banking interests in England. Today, this giant trust is known as RIT Capital Partners, and despite relinquishing their banking shares to the Royal Bank of Scotland in 1985, the RIT is worth over $7.7 billion. The trust's headquarters, the Spencer House, is without a doubt its most eye-catching asset. With its golden decor, antique furniture, and works of art by great masters adorning every wall, this palace in the heart of London is definitely a valued possession of the RIT. The mansion was renovated in the late 1980s and is largely regarded as the most expensive renovation in London throughout the 20th century. This big and extremely expensive enterprise deserves a title like this. The Spencer House is currently valued at roughly 35 million pounds, but its historical significance raises the price three to four times. Number 3. Rio Tinto Mining Corporation The Rothschild family knows how to make money. They are one of the world's largest gold collectors. Rio Tinto Mining, one of the two mining businesses that account for a fifth of the Rothschild's huge wealth, valued around $103 billion, is one of their most valuable assets. Rio Tinto is the world's second largest metal mining company. It was merely a tiny local mining enterprise when the Rothschild family bought it. Despite this, Rio Tinto is the world's largest copper producer with a yearly turnover of more than $30 billion. Number 2. La Compagnie Financière Edmund Adolf de Rothschild aspired to develop La Compagnie Financière as a premier global interdealer broker when he founded it. La Compagnie Financière, on the other hand, exceeded his greatest expectations. The multi-billion dollar business is now valued at roughly $121 billion. The firm is in charge of financial operations in Switzerland, which is famed for its superior banking industry, as well as its chocolate reticence to join sides and particularly photogenic cows. Today, Edmund's son Benjamin de Rothschild is in charge of the corporation, which has expanded to over 30 countries. Number 1. Glencore Mining Additionally, Glencore Mining Company ranks first on the list with a market capitalization of more than $127.5 billion. The Rothschilds family firm, which owns many mines in Australia, is a single asset but it is currently wealthier than Bill Gates.
There are just three people in the Hotshield portfolio who are wealthier than this single company. With 145,000 employees, the corporation is one of the largest employers in Australia. As a result, it wields considerable influence in local politics. Some of the conspiracy theories concerning the Rothschilds may turn out to be genuine. As evidenced by everything described before, the Rothschild family truly deserves to be at the top of the world and to be the target of conspiracy theorists all around the world. I'm sure you'll agree that having a luxury lifestyle as the world's most recognized family is a modest price to pay. Which one of these investments amazed you the most? Were you surprised? Leave us a comment below. If you liked and enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. For more insightful videos, get notified by clicking the bell button below. From the high-end stories of today, this has been Modern Luxury. As always, we'll look forward to seeing you again in one of our videos. Thanks for watching.